everybody, I'm S. Prevent, and today I'm back with a brand new video. Today we are doing another fan mail unboxing. We went back to the PO box, we picked up whatever's there, and we're going to open it on camera and just kind of thank you, I suppose, depending on what's given. Uh, last time we got quite a few good things. We got uh, a few Doctor Who related things, a few nice fan letters, um, and a couple of copies of Spy Kids, which was interesting. So uh, we'll see what hilarity is about to ensue um, with... The next few letters and parcels today. Um, if you do want to send something into the PO box uh, to be opened on camera, whatever, um, here is the address. You can send whatever you want. If you want suggestions, then I don't know, probably something Doctor Who related would be great. Um, yeah, it's totally up to you guys. Um, but if you want to, whether it's just a letter, whether it's just something, you know, um, totally random, whether it's something Doctor Who related, whether it's like, you know, merchandise, like the figures, or whether it's like, a, you know, a classic DVD or like a big finish, if you, whatever um i don't really like asking for stuff so i think if people just want recommendations that's the kind of thing that would you know it's a doctor who channel so presumably that would be some of the better stuff um but yeah we're here today to do some more unboxing and talk about this so yeah let's get started so we're doing a parcel first this time this seems to be a dvd there seems to be a letter in it i can hear that um so yeah we're gonna just open this and see what see what um DVD or game is in this. <laughs> I have never heard of Titanic 2, but <laughs> I presume it's not James Cameron. Is this an actual thing? You're joking. There's actually no score. For this came out in 2010. There's no critic score for it. There's no critic ratings at all, but there are over a thousand audience ratings, and it's at fifteen percent. Oh, I'm gonna have to give this a watch in the summer. That's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Bruce Davison. Jesus. I mean, this is, this is insane. It really is insane. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> but yeah, we'll add that to the weird film collection. Okay. So now we are gonna go through a couple of letters. This one is addressed to um, a creeper in brackets, George Sheard. Um, so yeah, that's nice. We've got, it says, please do not bend, and there's a Weeping Angel thing on the back. It says, congrats on 10k subs. Thank you very much. Um, there's a lot of stuff in this. Okay. Um, there's one of these battles and time cards. Yeah, because we started last time. Last time we got given these. They're still on my desk. Um, last time we got a couple of these boyos. So this time we got a few. Ah, oh, that's cool. Some older ones. That's quite nice. The uh, Solomon, Dalek, Sick Mutant, and uh, a Scholar. Um, yeah, quite nice. Again, like, um, this is, it throws me right back, because I, like, I remember collecting these back in the day, I haven't, like, recently, because, you know, they, they haven't actually been around in shops for, like, ten years, um, but it's great to just, you know, it's, it's a nice little thing, you know, like, it, it's not expensive for people to send, so it's actually quite nice, sort of a little, sort of Doctor Who related thingy. It looks to be some fan art here, my god, what, what? This is a lot of stuff, right, the, there's a letter, and then... There's, like, some pretty decent, like, artwork from this person. There's, like, some actual, like, effort got into this. And it's, like, why did you send this to me? This is this is lovely. That's, that's great, though. It's, again, just creativity and passion from fans are always great. I love the last one, actually. That's great. Yeah, that's lovely. And there's some other stuff underneath. And there's actually the, some official posters from... Oh, that doesn't open. Oh, right. So these are like the art cards that were released. I'm trying to think. Where do, where do these go? So you've got Ryan, Graham, and Yaz on the back there with a the little 13th Doctor on the other side. That's cool. I actually really like that. That's that's really nice. I actually really like that. Thank you. And there's a letter as well. So we'll quickly read that out. Thank you for all that because that is a lot of stuff. Dear Ace Cream, I'm a hi, my name is Aiden. I love your videos and I'm glad you're honest about your opinions and have a variety of them. I love your videos so much I started doing some of my own. They're pretty boring, but uh, yeah, Hoovian Espresso. Hoovian Espresso, that's their channel name. Go check them out. Because I'm happy to give shout outs to people who send in letters. That's lovely. I've been especially enjoying your classic reviews and look forward to seeing more. I would really like it if you review Black Orchard. 
as I feel is really underrated. And I also love to see more of your custom videos as your TARDIS custom is really cool. Thank you. And I've not heard of Black Orchard, but I'll definitely stick it on the list to check out. P.S. What's your favourite MCU movie? And do you like Harry Potter slash Fantastic Beasts? Favourite MCU movie? I'm going to be controversial because I've just seen it, but Endgame is incredible. And I think it's probably stuck with me emotionally the most. I have never really, I've not really watched all of them, to be fair. I've watched a decent few of them. I've, you know, sort of grown up with them anyway. Uh, I've not watched all of them, but I think Infinity War, like, just took my top spot last time. But I think Endgame just takes the cake for me, just for its emotional value and what it has the balls to actually do as a film, I think it is just phenomenal. Um, so Endgame, and do I like Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts? I'm a fan of Harry Potter, yeah. I'm not so much a fan of Fantastic Beasts. I watched the first one, and then I saw the reviews of the second one and thought, yeah, best not. <clears throat> Thank you, by the way. That's great. That's a lot of stuff. Got another letter, which Royal Mail have apologised because it opened or the package is broken or something, so they've put it in a nice little plastic bag. <laughs> <laughs> right, I could take that. <laughs> okay, firstly, this letter isn't meant to be taken seriously. I can tell from the way it's formatted. Uh, secondly, <clears throat> I'm not too sure why the Fortnite cards are in Spanish. To be honest, I have no idea why I have them. Thirdly, enjoy the cards and have a nice day. Sorry if my handwriting's crap. It's not signed by anyone, but there's a, a decent collection of Fortnite cards in there. I don't play Fortnite, but I know my brother does, so I'm sure he'll um, be very interested with these. Again, I don't know too much about Fortnite, what these are, but I'm sure my brother will be able to tell me. The next one is another package um, here, which... I don't know what's in this one, but I'm very interested. Money shot. Oh. <laughs> Dalton's Rassalon wanted you to have these. Um, <laughs> who, as you'll recall, can sing. Yeah, oh, oh, I haven't actually, you know what, I haven't even got Avatar on um, DVD or Blu-ray or anything. I haven't even, I didn't, I completely, I didn't even realise it. Oh, and a big finish, I think. Is it big finish? Yeah, it is big finish. Oh, I've never, I, I, this is my first, my first big finish. Um, The Invasion of E-Space. That's cool. I quite like that. It's a Companion Chronicles one. So I've never actually listened to Big Finish. Um, I've always said that I'd be interested in doing it at some point. I just haven't had the time recently. And also I don't have any of them. And I wouldn't know where to start. So maybe I'll give a crack at listening to that at some point. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's great. That's great. It's only an hour as well. So that, that'll, that'll be a nice thing to pass the time. Yeah, and Avatar as well, which I quite like. And there's a Revenge of the Jadoon book. By uh, Terence Dix. So that's that's cool. Did I have that when I was younger? I, I'm not sure. I think I might have. I don't know. I can't even remember. But yeah, cool. Either way, thank you very much. Appreciate that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> oh wow. That's taking a, a, a good meme and running with it. I'll have to show um, George from Doctor Who Poop. So back in December, when um, I did my charity live stream thing, uh, George Wilson from Doctor Who Poop made a sort of um, Doctor Who Poop of one of my videos, or a collection of my videos from Series 11 reviews, to put on the live stream. And one of which was edited to make me um, love the idea of a Nanny Umbreen um, collectible figure. And that's what's been drawn here, which is incredible, because that's great detail. Even on the box, actually, like, it looks like one of the actual released boxes. It's a great... That's a lot... Oh, that's mint. I'm definitely putting that up on the wall. That's great. Or even on, like, the computer or something, like, here, just so I can kind of see it. That's amazing. I'll have to show him that later, so I'll... I'll that's mint. Thank you so much. That's great. Hi, George. I've been watching your channel for almost two years now. That is worrying. The channel two years ago was not what it is now, so... You, you know the secrets. <laughs> and I think it's brilliant. You should be really proud of the community you've created. Um, I know that I'm going to ramble a bit during this, so you'll have to bear with me. I don't suppose you recognise my use, username on YouTube. It's... Oh, he's doing 24, that one. Nice guy. Yeah, I do recognise that, actually. I have seen... Because I, I do have this sort of thing where... Yeah, I do try and reply to and, and view as many comments as I can. I don't reply to all of them, but I definitely do see 
most, if not all of them. And it's great to see the same people popping back and back again. So if you comment on almost every video, it, it's like that I do recognize your name when it pops up. So that's great. Um, <laughs> but anyway, thank you for taking the time to read this. Despite the length, I'm happy for you to mention or summarize this uh, in a video on camera. I've included a piece of art I've done for yourself. I hope you like it. I absolutely love it. And they've linked their Instagram as well. So if you want to check that out, artyzone24 underscore 2.0. They've put it in as a shameless plug. And they've posted a few sort of art things on there as well. So, yeah, because they sent that and they sent a lovely letter in. And it's actually a really nice letter as well. Generally just talking about who they are, how their experience has been Doctor Who. And, you know, what their connection is with the channel. So, that's really lovely. Thank you for that. Go check out their Instagram page. Hopefully linked on screen or something now. But, yeah, thank you. I'm going to try and, like, I was going to try, I was going to try and let it drop out. But it's, it's not going to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is by far one of the worst but also the best letter I've ever received <laughs> I've been gnomed I've been gnomed even that's that's so Oh, that's brilliant. That's such like a clever sense of humour. You don't have to send like you have to actually buy like comedy stuff like Spy Kids. Just a picture of a gnome on a piece of paper to gnome me. <laughs> that's brilliant. Oh man, I wish you put a name on it or something. Have you put a name on it? Oh, you have. The out, uh, Outcast from, yeah, you watch plenty of my videos, I see your comments all the time, and the Discord server. So thank, thanks for that, Outcast, appreciate it. Oh, right, let's get another couple of letters out of the way as well. Um, oh, I know what the other one is, because it's one of my friends who sent that, so I know that, because Michael, you're hilarious. But this one is an actual letter, so let's actually open this one first. Big A4. Do an iDub style money shot here, um, if we can. We can't really do it with letters. No, it's not going to work. <laughs> oh, you were taking the <laughs> Someone else has gnomed me. That's two people in a row now, and there's the Marmite. I know who this is, because they've been talking about Marmite for the last month. In a you know what? I'd actually prefer a picture of Marmite than actual Marmite, because I can't stand Marmite. Marmite related things, hate it. And I've made that pretty clear, so... I'm glad you haven't wasted your money buying something Marmite related. Instead, you have just put in a picture. But, you know, thanks for gnoming me for the second time today. That's going to be the title and thumbnail of this video because that's two in a row. Well, not two in a row, but two where I've been gnomed. Hi, Ace. Yes, you have been gnomed and I've sent you a jar of Marmite. In all seriousness, keep up the good work with the videos as they are great fun. They are a great way of living up my day and the discord server is great fun check out the discord server by the way link in the description um you want to do a film tv course at uni the best advice i can give you from someone who is doing a film course um is have fun and be creative as be as creative as you can be in the course that's great thank you very much for that um hope you enjoy the rest of your day best wishes joshua duffy aka time lord gamer x06 thank you thank you for gnoming me <laughs> oh that's twice today Dear me, I know what this is because this is from um, someone I know in real life. Because they said they'd sent this. They said they'd sent this. Or they said they'd ordered it anyway. Because it's, I believe, from the address on the back, the return address. It's a starter pack for the British Heart Foundation. Oh, it's a massive poster. <laughs> <laughs> I should have opened this first so I could put it in the back room. Wait a second. There we go. New YouTube setup there. Um, <laughs> British Art Foundation poster. Marmite and two gnomes. Right, well, there we go. That's that then. Um, what's this? Oh, it's the actual letter from British Heart Foundation. Should we read this? Oh, right. <laughs> I feel bad. I'm sure I could probably do some charity fundraising for the British Heart Foundation at some point. But the fact that I know who it was sent by, I know it's just a free starter pack for the sake of it. 
but it does come with a glow-in-the-dark poster of a human body, which is lovely, so that'll be fun. Um, we've got one last one to open today, um, which should be fun, so we're going to get that open, and we're going to um, use a knife for this one, because it is very sealed. It says fragile everywhere. It could either be a parody one, or it could be a genuinely like serious thing, because it's a heavy parcel. Now... It could just be a bag of sand. I've seen it done before. <laughs> oh, there's nothing alive in there. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't just stab it. Right, that's really ominous. It's just a sort of box with that sort of stuff in it. And I'm, I, I really don't know what's going to be in here. And I'm actually starting to slowly worry that it's going to be something really horrible. Or something really nice. What is, what is this? Okay. This is the heavy thing. Is it a cup or a glass or something along those lines? I think it might be. Let's have a look. Oh, well, at least it's not something alive or a bag of sand. It is a glass. It's a glass of sorts, so I can definitely get some sort of use out of it. And I think... Oh, that is insane. Oh, that's so nice. To think for a second I actually thought this was something ominous and horrible. Oh, that's lovely. One minute, let's put the knife away. We don't look like we're going to kill it. You can probably see from the reflection. Oh, that's mint. So someone's got this custom made. Oh, let's get this bloody confetti out of it. So we've got a picture of a TARDIS and it says Age Creeper, 10,000 subscribers. That's actually really cool. And I love these glasses as well because I... They're like the, it sounds weird, but it's like the John Smith ones, like the old John Smith glasses, and I quite enjoy those with some juice or, you know, potentially an alcoholic beverage. But this is great. So it's that style of glass, but... Oh, that's insane, man. That's really nice. That's, like, that's genuinely, like, really thoughtful. And I will use this. Probably on a daily basis, which is the worrying thing. I, I, I you know, like normal humans, I do drink a lot. Not... But I, you know, I drink a lot of liquids. Um, so, I'm, I'm just digging myself a hole here. So, But yeah, no, it's great. So, oh man, that's amazing. You will definitely see this in a future video if I ever pick up a glass and start drinking from it. Oh, that's amazing. I love that so much. Why do we always... Uh, it's something, it must be just some sort of random sort of thing that we, we always end on the, like, the really sort of thoughtful or, like, big packages. I remember last time it was like filled with Doctor Who um, costume and merchandise stuff, like filled with it. And this is like a custom made Doctor who -y Ace Creeper glass. I love that. That's amazing. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> that's, that's mint. That's just, yeah, just make sure there's no more ominous stuff. There is like, this straw stuff is everywhere though, so that's going to get tidied up soon. Oh, wow. Um, Well, and that's pretty much that. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy it. Um, this PO box will be open till around sort of mid June, so until it closes. And when it closes, that'll be the last time, probably for at least a few years, I had a thought ever doing a PO box. So maybe the only time I ever do it. So if there's any chance for you to send something in, um, you know, sort of share around some like, fan art or. Um, sort of, I'm trying to think of other things that I talked about at the beginning as well. Um, so I, that's a sort of figure or like a big finish or like a classic DVD or even a modern DVD. I've got most of them, but like any of that sort of stuff. Doctor Who related is always a good thing to go to. But if you want to send anything, whether it be a letter, fan art, you know, anything along the lines we've just talked about there, um, then yeah, please do. It, it's this is the only time the PO box will be open over the next. Um, couple of months or so, so make sure you act on that, and hopefully the next video I'll be able to say, yeah, the PO box is closed now, um, don't send any more stuff into it, um, yeah, but I'm presuming that shouldn't be a problem, so if you want to get something sent in that I can see and open on video and own uh, from you, whether it be a letter or anything like that, now's your chance, probably the only chance you're ever going to get, so yeah, over the next month or so, um, feel free to do that. If there's any sort of questions or queries you have, leave them in the comments or message me on Discord and the Discord server. But that's pretty much that. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment below for any more suggestions in the future. Subscribe to the channel with notifications on if you haven't already because YouTube is a mess. 
Discord server is linked in the description if you want to support the channel as well. We have a Patreon page with some exclusive content now, which is great to say we've actually got exclusive Patreon content, as well as early access stuff to the channel, such as the Love and Monsters reaction video, uh, which will be coming out at some point in the next week or so, so look forward to that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you all next time, have a lovely day, bye bye!